The U.S. government, through PEPFAR, is supporting these efforts through a new strategy for accelerating HIV-AIDS epidemic control with ambitious targets to achieve epidemic control in Rwanda and a few other focus countries here in Africa by the end of 2020. Rwanda has been a leader in developing pragmatic, innovative approaches to optimizing HIV delivery, including early adaptation. All this is geared towards ensuring that Rwanda reaches the UNAIDS 90-90-90 goals. Now, 90-90-90 means that 90% of people um, with HIV AIDS are diagnosed, so they know their status and they're diagnosed. 90% of those diagnosed are on treatment, and of those on treatment, 90% are what, is, are what is called virally suppressed, which means there's not a detectable virus in their system. Even though they still have the infection, they're healthy for all intents and purposes. If we can get to that by the end of 2020, we have long-term epidemic control in Rwanda, which is really exciting. In light of the funding uncertainty for HIV AIDS and global health programs, I also want to stress that the government of Rwanda we value our partnership with the government of Rwanda and we are here to help the government to work with all ministries, not just the Ministry of Health, but also Minecofin, um, to develop long-term sustainable financing options for the national HIV response to make sure that everybody who is on drugs can remain on drugs for the rest of their life and stay healthy and live a long and normal life. Reaching the 90-90-90 goals and moving to an AIDS-free generation will be challenging. The, the last mile of the race is always the hardest. You know, in a marathon, the easy part is at the beginning, the hard part's at the end. It's the same thing with epidemic control. We are at a historic moment in the HIV epidemic globally. For the first time in history, we have the opportunity to change the very course of the entire pandemic, which is really pretty exciting. That means actually controlling it, despite the fact that we have no vaccine yet and that there is no cure for this disease. And this would be a first for a viral disease. As many of you know, HIV in, in Rwanda is spread, is spread mainly through sexual contact. And having more than one sexual partner has been shown in the recent demographic health survey of 2015 as the greatest risk, risk factor. So for Rwanda to achieve the 90-90-90 goals and to push further to an AIDS-free generation, we need to encourage every single person who has had more than one sexual partner in the last 12 months to get tested for HIV and to help put an end to this epidemic. And each one of us needs to also help educate um, others on how to prevent this disease. You don't have multiple partners, use condoms, get yourself educated, know your status. If you're HIV positive, get on ARTs, make sure that you're staying healthy and get virally suppressed. Um, all of those are really, really super important. And for pregnant women, please go in and ha have your, your antenatal checks that you're supposed to have. And if you're HIV positive, know that well ahead of time so you can get on ARTs to prevent your children from having HIV AIDS. This is totally preventable. We had three, three Rwandans who were born last year with HIV AIDS when they were born. Um, let's get to zero on that one. Uh, let's get to zero on adolescence, and let's get to zero on passing to partners. And with that, we can get to epidemic control.